Hi, I'm Forrest Breifogel. Um, I'm the CEO of Smarter Solutions. Our website is smartersolutions.com. Why do we have today's crises? We have very smart MBA people that graduated from elite schools. We also have spent much effort in organizations and businesses improving their business systems. But we still have the problems we have today. We have financial instruments that were created that have very high risks. And then we had some other companies exploit these systems for what appeared to be very profitable adventures, but in reality, they had some high risk downsides. Now, I think there's two fundamental issues. One is existing management policies. Do we have policies that really are driving the right behaviors? Secondly, we don't have a generic business process. Depending upon who happens to be leading the charge, we can be approaching things quite differently. Now, companies go in and benchmark the Toyota production system for the tools that can make improvements. But I think what's often overlooked is something from Toyota that is more important, and that's referred to as the Toyota way. Now, if we go in and benchmark, so to speak, the Toyota way, I am think there's five things that we should be fundamentally doing differently. Now, the first point that we should be addressing is executive compensation ratio. This is the ratio of executives pay to the lowest paid employee. I believe that the Western world should align this ratio to be more in line with what Japan does, or Toyota does in Japan. Secondly, I think we need to eliminate the golden parachute. Often what happens within organizations, especially when they're having problems, is we can hire a CEO or other executives and give them a golden parachute, perhaps in three years, so that they have an escape mechanism that's somewhat independent upon how well they perform. And what can happen often with this kind of policy is that we can have the wrong things occur relative to the business as a whole for long-term health. Thirdly, eliminate pay for performance. Now this might sound like a good thing, but it can really lead to bad behavior. Let's look at what happened at Enron. Enron, at the turn of the century, created a pay for performance at the executive level, such that if you didn't meet your quarterly numbers, it was not healthy for you, and that you might lose your job. Now, the question I ask is, did all the unethical MBAs migrate to Enron, or did Enron's performance measurement system create the unethical MBAs? Now, I think what most people would do is they'd vote for the latter. Fourthly, avoid hiring a CEO and other executives that are to be a superman or superwoman that is to be somewhat of a silver, silver bullet to fix the organizational problems. Now, what happens often in Toyota, at least in Japan, is that they promote from within so that these people that are promoting have somewhat the same basic philosophy and DNA for running the business. Now, in reality, this can take 20 or 30 years to actually get everybody thinking along the same lines. And so what we really need to do is maybe look at an alternative. Well, we need to have everybody think in the same way and just bring in somebody in from the outside can often be disruptive and not fit within the overall culture of the organization. And then the fifth thing is we need to use analytics as part of our decision-making process. We need to formally blend analytics and innovation far to going in and determine what we should be fundamentally different in, and also how we build our strategies. Now, a system for accomplishing this is the Integrated Enterprise Excellence, or IEEE, framework. 
this overall system has at the enterprise level an enterprise define, measure, analyze, improve, control, where strategy building is actually step number five within a nine step process, not step one. So strategies now within the overall organization are determined after analytically and innovatively looking at the overall metrics of the organization, which are long lasting, and also what the uh, competition is doing, and also what our strengths are overall. Now, the Integrated Enterprise Excellence System, I believe it can address those two fundamental problems that I talked about earlier when we go in and create policies and also how we go in and run the business as a whole. In summary, I think it's important that we realize that we need to do something fundamentally different. Yes, we need to have change, but we need to have something that we're changing too that leads to three R's of business. Thank you.